Hi guys, welcome to um, Entity Framework 6 tutorials. Um, last time we last time off, we actually were able to actually read it, the values from the table and display in this in this. Um, we were able to read the values from the database and display in this nice looking table. There's no formatting in this table actually, just uh, the default table by from MVC. All right, I was gonna last time I was gonna implement the the details when you click on the details you should be able to see the details but I think it is much appropriate to first of all implement the create new so when you create a new a new a new table a new uh, row new student we should be able to see it on this table right here and uh, this is actually live like I, I'm just typing it I'm just typing it as I'm recording this video, so there might be some little bit of um, corrections here and there. But let's just go ahead and try to create a new, a new student and add to this table. So just so how you know, so you know how to create a new record and add to the database, and uh, get it, get that record you created and add it to the new um, to the table. So let's go ahead and uh, start that. So to do that, I'm going to stop this running and then. <clears throat> I'm going to like I'm going to create a new a public action here okay public action action result actually sorry public action result uh, I'm going to call this create student create student what am I doing? Create student. Okay. Uh, this is going to be. Uh, it's going to return a view. Return me a view. Return a view. Okay. Okay, so <clears throat> this one here, we also need to create the student model. Okay. Okay. Okay, model. New student model. So basically, the reason we are creating this model is because we want uh, we want it we want the we want the textbooks the textbooks to just use automatically use these values here first name last name email and department uh, automatically um, showing for us so that we can actually just uh, use it. That's why we're using this model, this student model. Okay. So let's go back to this. Uh, okay. So now we should let's create the view for this guy for the create student so this is the view that will show when you create creating student for this one we want to create so so it's a create so we want to create uh, we also want this model we want the student student model right here as well um, student model yep this one okay so add nothing too fancy just adding okay so it, it adds a bunch of these codes. You don't really need to do nothing. Uh, just leave it like that. Since we're just learning, uh, we just uh, let's just leave it like that. Don't do nothing. Um, actually, uh, I want to delete this one, I guess. Oh, no, delete this one. No, delete this one. I want to make this one H2. Okay, so now we have our... Um, I'll create right here okay uh, and then if you back to list it's gonna take us back to list and then this one uh, is like the create okay and um, for here I think we want to do this uh, the first one that comes here is the action name I want to add action name of creates create student okay um, 
the second one here is the controller name and uh, this is home controller and the home controller the third one here is the form method this is form oh, no sorry <laughs> I'm just gonna get it real quick in some other application. Okay, form method dot po post. Yep, that's what I wanted to get. Form method dot post, and then the next one. Uh, we don't have HTML attributes, do we? No, so that's fine. That's fine. Okay. So we just make it. Actually, just make this one. No. Okay. Alright, so this is going to post it, so we need to create a post action for this one. No, actually, we, we, we need to... Uh, um, okay, so this is it. We need to actually go back to... Um, go back to the controller and make a post just copy this one and then make this one as post okay HTTP post okay because this is it's gonna post to this one right here okay so when it posts to this one we do all we want now is to actually have this one here it's gonna post this model back to us Okay, and then when we have the model, we don't need this one anymore. Okay, so when you post the model to us, we need now to write a function that will that will read the database and then add a new record to the database. So the same thing. Uh, we're going to make a new instance of the database like this, like we, uh, we did before, using the using statement, and then. Um, we are going to create a new new database table so that is like the TBL TBL students uh, new instance of the TBL student uh, so I'm gonna say student right here equals to new student okay so what we're gonna do is now we're gonna map between this this model this model like we're gonna do like the vice versa for here we are mapping between the students to the model okay to show it and to display it in the page in this create we're going to map between the model now we're going to map it back to the student to save it okay so student student dot, dot first name equals to model dot first name okay student dot last name equals to model dot last name student dot department equals to model dot department dot department and then finally student dot email equals to model dot email okay and then we are going to do um, db.students.email 
dot odd 